it before mm -hmm. and help them do some tasks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, how, uh, let me see. How did your, did your income change during this time, especially early in the pandemic? It changed, it changed drastically yeah. because the, most, most people were in, were in earning as much as they were and there wasn't much job to do. Mm -hmm. So the income decreased, mm. um, the, the income decreased to the period. Do you feel like it's coming back now? Um, yes, I say yes. It's kind of um, coming closer um, to the pandemic. Um, things are trying to go back to the normal, but I still know it's going to take a little bit of time. Mm. It tends to um, probably be the same. Mm -hmm. But it's better um, than some few months ago mm -hmm. during the pandemic. It's, it's really improving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Um, you know, some of the, some of the workers that we've been talking to who do, especially who do cleaning work, feel like they're more exposed to COVID than other people. Do you feel like that's true for you? I'm just kind of coming in. Do you feel like you're more exposed to COVID doing the work that you do than other people, other, other kinds of workers? Um, yeah, yes, I'd say yes, I feel, um, kind of more exposed to COVID, um, because of the nature of the job I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say, but I'm basically cleaning. You don't know if the clients you're working for is sick. Mm. They just call you in to complain. Um, another thing is when you and coworkers are trying to move stuff, and probably things get a little bit sweaty and mm -hmm. you don't even know because this COVID might be, um, you might, you might not know mm -hmm. if it's when someone has COVID like, as, as, uh, what is it called? Is it asymptomatic? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, um, this, this particular, um, nature of job, you might be at a great risk from huh? getting COVID. Has, um, have, have you done a cleaning job where you have thought that the person might be sick? Um, so, some few months ago, I got called by some, um, elderly couple. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the other couple was sick, was sick. And I, I, I had no idea if I just had to do my job, mm. but I felt it might be COVID, but, I was just, I had to just take, um, precautionary measure mm -hmm. and, um, pull it up with my job. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Do you, do you feel like you have the ability to ask? Or, you know, how, how do you think about that when you're meeting, you know, these strangers for the first time, yeah. um, through these, through these apps, you know? Can I, can I come again? Do you feel like you can ask people these questions about whether they're sick or whether they have, you know, been exposed to COVID or anything like that? Do you feel like that's um, something that you can do or something that the apps can do? Um, yeah, that's for my own protection. Mm -hmm. I feel it's something um, I, uh, I'm supposed to ask, mm. but um, still... I, I feel it's your duty as a worker to probably protect yourself mm. because you know the nature of your job and you should be ready mm. to probably take precautions. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, I still feel it's something I might ask. Mm -hmm. like, um, are you having um, COVID or are you infected? So, um, but probably... I really decline jobs when I accept the task. I probably make sure mm -hmm. I follow through with the task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 
what when you um you know one of the things we've heard from other other people who are doing these jobs is they worry about their ratings on the apps you know if for some reason if they um show up to a house and they feel unsafe you know they feel like oh you know this person is sick or they didn't tell me or you know something like that they think they they feel like they can't cancel or leave because they don't want their rating to go down is that something that you've thought about um yeah, i i um take um cognizant of the rating i have um in the app oh, oh, please, can you just repeat the question yes yeah can i ask it again yeah sure yeah um we when we talk to other people about you know this same situation that you're in where they they come to a job and uh they they see that somebody might be sick but they don't know if they can ask or maybe they did ask and they said no 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 you know we're not sick or anything like that they and they want to cancel or they want to leave because they feel like they don't want to get sick they worry about their ratings right like whether people will rate them badly or you know if they'll be punished for for leaving is that something that you've thought about um, yes it's something the, the rating um most times um probably help you get visibility and the help so yes it's something that um i would be scared of mm-hmm. if i'm probably going to get a low rating mm. from someone i work with because I was asking too much questions mm. um instead of me doing the job I was called or assigned to do mhm okay that makes sense um did you do you remember if you got any uh information or messages from the apps or from the companies about covid about how to protect yourself or about how to get a vaccine or something like that Uh, I, I, I can't recall. I can't recall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, how about through Uber? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I got to Uber. I, I, I got some suggestion to Uber how to probably protect myself during uh-huh. the pandemic. Uh huh. Was that helpful? <laughs> yes, definitely. It, <laughs> It shows some some bit of human empathy mm. on the company's um, part that they probably um, they are looking out for their for their workers. Mm. So, um, so I, I felt it was, it was helpful and it was encouraging at the same time. Mm-hmm. Do you between if you had to compare uh, Task Rabbit and Uber, who do you think? has done better with the pandemic um i i will really pick a few more right but uh I'll probably stick with uber uh-huh. a little bit um because they they handled the situation during covid very well by public keeping or inform telling the driver mm mm-hmm. how to protect the stove and um yeah mhm okay um did you with when you drive for uber you said that you make deliveries do you ever do um passengers yes i i did passenger okay um i did passenger before i switched completely to being um just delivering stuff Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Why did you switch? Well, I to me I felt um the delivery was more comfortable. Mm-hmm. Um I I felt it was it was more better because you don't have to transport human. Mm-hmm. You know, this pandemic as a whole, you have to be careful and try as much as possible. Mm-hmm. So reduce human contact. Mm-hmm. So I felt okay. It's better. I probably switch to um doing delivery. Mm-hmm. And um, 
So I'd probably um, cut out one contact and